This video was sponsored by Netmarble. Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Iron Throne, the beginner's guide part two. And today we're going to be talking about fighting. We're going to talk about battling. We're going to be talking about this beautiful idol screen. And we're also going to be discussing heroes and items and things like that. We're really going to try to get into the details of how to be the best battler and best fighter. And of course, the strategy when you actually fight. So we're going to get into a legit fight. But first, we need to get into how to prepare for one. So the first thing I want to look at is obviously the troops. We have the rally point up here and we've got four buildings that really need to be focused on. We have the training grounds, the archery range, the siege workshop, and the stable. Now I have all of mine upgraded to level 11. They'll go much higher than that. So if we were to look at say the training grounds, the training grounds kind of governs your infantry troops. And if you hit the upgrade button, it tells you what it will do. Now, if you upgrade your training grounds, so let's say level 12, then it unlocks tier three, which gives you a whole new troop that you could actually take to battle. So it's a good idea to upgrade the training ground as well as the other three buildings. And that's the basics of unlocking your troops, making them stronger, but there's a lot of other ways to do that. And one of the best ways to do it is through the leader, through the general, through the hero. So if you actually look at the bottom of the screen here, you can see the word heroes. We're gonna select that. And now we're brought to a menu and it shows us our heroes. Now my first and the first hero that you unlock that you have at the beginning is Maria. And she is more of a production hero. Now that is, she's actually my most powerful hero because I poured a lot of experience in her. I made her stronger, I leveled her up. Um, and as you can see, those boxes around here gives you the ability to give her some um, some equipment that you can either receive through quests or craft through items and equipment that you receive through quests. And um, it's it's a good idea to really outfit your best hero with your best equipment. And so I actually have two other heroes. This is again Maria. She's more of a production type of uh, hero. But if you switch over here, we've got Carl. And Carl is an infantry hero. So he would technically be a, a better hero to take into battle because Maria is more of a production stay at home and make sure things go well. While Carl, look at him. He's got this epic gear. He's got a giant sword that's glowing. It's beautiful. Yeah, he would be a good idea. He would be a good hero to take on the Mara way with you. And then we've got Harold. He is a, um, he's a construction speed. He's a brilliant type of hero. So he is our architect of our city. So I'm going to go back to Carl and I'm going to click next to the level 14. I'm going to give him some more experience. I've accumulated a whole bunch of these items. So we're going to level him up right now. So I'm going to use all of my 600 plus experience levels. And this is going to take him from level 14 to 18, which is kind of crazy strong. So he's leveled up. He is now better at attacking, better at defending, higher HP. And he's giving a lot of buffs to infantry troops. Now, let me back up before we level him up even further. And I'm going to click the plus at the bottom. And what that'll do is that'll allow us to kind of scroll through the heroes that we haven't yet unlocked. So, for instance, we have Roderick. Roderick's a beast too. Look at his amazing armor. And he, if you look at the left-hand side, gives buffs to cavalry units. So, if you know you're going to go into a battle and your opponent is using the troop that's weak to cavalry, you might want to use this guy. And it says at the top, how to unlock it, claim all of event center second day reward. So it's actually not very difficult to unlock this guy. And you know, if you scroll through, here's Tertio and you have to defeat five chaotic strongholds to get him. And he just helps you to, uh, to increase your, your troop training speed, as you can see in the train trait there. And just scrolling through all these, you can read through them on your own, but they're all, they all have their unique abilities. And I really, really like a Kies or a Chilis because he is he just looks amazing he gives extra buff to infantry once again but you only unlock him if you get first place in battle royale which i think is really cool so that'll definitely be something that a lot of players are going to want to try so i am going to continue to pour experience into this guy let's just use all of them let's make him an absolute monster all right let's just make him an absolute beast we're going to level him up we're going to make him op all right let's just use all these babies i've been uh i've been getting these by um I've been getting these by doing quests and things. And so there we go. He is now level 27. He is an absolute beast now. And um, his combat power is now 994. Now, as you can see, his combat power is still, and you can see that at the bottom left inside, 994, is still lower than Maria. Why? Because Maria has some amazing items on her. So let's actually take her items away from her. We're going to unequip 
the items that she is holding and we're gonna give the best stuff to Carl all right, so right now he's he's got his armor here. It's only level one. I say we give him a, a better set of armor. This is gladiator armor. That one's actually recommended for the guard captain. He won't be the guard captain, so maybe we should hold on to that and um, and give it to somebody else. Let me look. Let me see. This one is the architect armor. We want to give that to Harold. That one is recommended for guard captain as well. And this is oh, this is dimensional conqueror armor. That's what we need. We're gonna be going through the dimensional gate. So let's actually upgrade this baby if we can can we upgrade it no i don't think we have the items required to upgrade it so that's why you want to do a lot of quests to get a lot of items to make your person even more powerful now let's give him an amazing weapon let's give him the uh let's the architect's ga dagger that's for the guard captain as well dimensional great sword you know what let's equip that that looks good and then we also want to give him a ring let's see recommended for the guard captain this one is um for the architect he doesn't need a ring he um because none of the rings we have are really a good match for him but let's see guard captain economy he doesn't need that it, it's good because it gives you a good idea of how these items will help your person so this one is good for dimensional conqueror we're going to give him that as well and the weapon he's holding is recommended for the guard captain we're going to give him let me see is there anything that's a little bit yeah dimensional conqueror shield we're going to equip that very good all right then we got the runes can we do we need to give him more runes e exclusive for economy rune no 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 we need the dimensional rune yeah that's it In do i need to engrave it sure let's engrave it there we go so now we've given him a lot of equipment and he is now ready to go fight but before we do that he is actually uh, appointed as the guard captain so let's go back to our citadel and let's appoint the uh let's appoint maria as the uh as the guard captain for now all right so there we go so now that maria said is the guard captain she is the one on the horse uh basically watching over the city you can see her there she is she's sitting there chilling so now when we go fight it's gonna be carl that's gonna be doing that so before we do that though yes i've already equipped carl but maybe we can make better stuff and that's something that you guys can explore on your own as you look at what you have but i want to show you how to do it if you click the forge there in the middle of the, the screen there you can actually craft items and there's so much that you can do you can craft equipment uh, let's say we want to craft a primary weapon and we can go through and we can select different weapons based on the items that we have available to us now it's going to be blanked out black and white if we don't have the the material as you can see the top screen you acquire material by completing quests so as you can see if I, I can actually create the scythe if i really wanted to don't really want carl to hold a scythe though honestly uh there's a gladiator sword that's actually really cool we could technically craft that because we have the material for it but i'm willing to bet that what we have now is actually good enough but you can see that because of how much there is to do and look at at in the workshop it gives you a ton of options and i would really recommend if you're playing this game and i really highly recommend you do by downloading the, the game from the link in the description below um to, to just explore this and really find out what bets best suits your play style as well as your hero that you're using so the workshop's a great way to get items and then another way to get items and equipment is to go to the inn and use the random cards thing if you don't have ancient coins you can get them by completing quests and then you can start flipping these uh these cards i'm going to go ahead and use 10 of these that way i can go ahead and draw a card for you guys so i'm going to use that now i can afford to do one flip and okay i obtained 10,000 stone that wasn't quite what i was hoping for i was hoping to get some equipment but as you can see it is very random so those are two ways to get the equipment necessary and required to do some fighting getting your hero prepared and ready to go now it is time to do some fighting so you can see here this is the dimensional gate and the dimensional gate sends you to this page here this is kind of like the multiplayer battle scenario you can also get to this point by clicking battlefield right there and it opens up all the other options right now all we have available to us is the story and the battle royale everything else is locked out actually town mode is not unlocked and that is a sneak peek to the third part of this guide this battle this beginner tutorial for iron throne but for now we're going to stick to story and i'm going to select the um the number two there we're 11 out of 15 stars through so i say we do the next we've already completed the first three i'm going to go ahead and finish this baby off here and um oh looks like you've reached training grounds level and have increased the troop tiers that can be used in battle excellent that is good stuff all right so 
let me let me talk you through this part here do you see the verses the left are my heroes my troops and for some reason i still have maria i might have done something wrong either way you guys can figure that out or on the right hand side you have the uh the enemy and he's got three units of infantry two units of archers and three units of cavalry now in the middle on the bottom it has a very nice little graphic that shows you what the weaknesses are of each troop so at the top you have the infantry the swords crossing the infantry is strong against cavalry but weak against archers so you look at the opponent's army and you say all right it's very balanced so maybe i should bring a balanced army as well um they've got more infantry than archers and infantry is weak to archers so that means we should probably bring more archers and infantry so i'll go ahead and decrease my infantry and increase my archers and we're gonna ha hit that start battle button again it's a very he's got a very balanced army so we're gonna try to be balanced as well so before we start the battle it starts kind of like checkers but instead of going turn by turn you just set your troops up and let him go and um so basically what you're doing is you're looking at what he has and you want to counterbalance that so again you have the very nice graphic of what's strong and weak to one another at the top right hand side of that screen infantry strong against cavalry weak against archers and you want to kind of um you want to compete against him in that way so let's start in the far left he's got cavalry who is weak to infantry so it would be wise to get the infantry and line it up against the cavalry second next to that is the infantry and infantry is weak to archers so i've already got that set up very nicely and then next to that is archers which are weak to cavalry so we've already got the cavalry lined up and ready to go there same thing with the next one and then after that is back to archers which is weak to um or i'm sorry it's infantry weak to archers so see what i'm doing here i'm trying to line up everything to where we're going to be approaching his troops with their weakness and finally we need some infantry over here to deal with those two lines of cavalry over there so i've got everything set up now we start the battle and during the battle you're able to launch special attacks so let's see what he is going to do and very 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 beautiful graphics that the iron throne has while you do your fighting he has already sent off his archers and so have we the the charge has begun and um there we go okay so it's maria don't know why maybe because it's a different mat uh, bo uh different mode dang maria look at this watch this bam oh man get get some son all right so let's get the ogre and by the way the ogre is a beast so you want to definitely put the ogre in the middle of all of his very dangerous stuff so let's put the ogre right there that's gonna be in the middle of his cavalry and then we're also going to throw down a fireball onto his troops as well and it looks like we very very handily overpowered him and all it took was lining up our troops with theirs their weakness to our strengths and then using the the ogre putting him in the right spot in the middle of his troops the ogre does a lot of damage and a lot of tanking and then of course you have the um the fireball that destroyed the last of his troops so we got the three star which is always a good plan right and 91.3 percent of our troops survived so let's let's do the next stage that was super quick and i want you guys to understand what is coming so our heroes level 20 their heroes level 10 so that's already an advantage but as you can see this time the opponent is bringing some siege equipment so what do we use on siege equipment well in the middle of that graphic that shows the strengths and weaknesses in the middle shows siege equipment which means it has no strengths and weaknesses it's just a support troop so i think what we ought to do is let me see he's got more infantry this time so we should definitely bring more archers which we've already got set up and he's got two archers and two cavalry so i say what we do is we bring one less uh, one less infantry and bring some siege equipment just to counterbalance what they've got going on so with that considered let's start the battle and see how they've got themselves lined up so okay so horses on the far left they're weak to infantry so let's line up horses to infantry we got archers on the other side as backup and then and on the second line they've got infantry and then behind them archers and infantry is weak to archers and archers are weak to cavalry so that's actually perfect we've got archers and then we've got cavalry and then next in line we have infantry weak to archers so you know perhaps we should put the archers that were on the far side in the middle to combat the the infantry in the middle and then next we've got another unit of infantry so we'll put the archers in line with the infantry and then lastly we have the uh cavalry in the end we'll put the uh the infantry in front of that and then we'll leave the archers on the end as kind of like a support troop and then of course we have the the siege equipment we're going to line that up in the middle because that's the most defensible location 
So we've lined up our strengths against their weaknesses. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And of course we have the epic, uh, the epic cutscene, which means, makes it so cool. And we'll see how the battle goes. Um, the battles are really quick and the, the strategy gets more complicated as things get crazier, basically. As you level up, things can get more and more wild. Also, you can skip the graphic if you want, but I love seeing those people fly around. That is just absolutely epic. So there goes the ogre. And then let's get the fireball. Let's throw the fireball in the middle of the archers. And oh, there's the cavalry destroying my siege equipment. That was probably not the best. Should have looked behind. So anytime you use siege equipment, you really need to pay attention to where his cavalry is. Because the cavalry are going to dive down and try to get that siege equipment quickly. But we still got the three star. This time with only a 70.2% uh, survival rating. Because I did not put my ogre back there to protect the siege equipment. So even... Either way, we got tons of um, tons of hero equipment or XP, as you can see. But we also got some war trumpets. We got some uh, chests. We got some silver just by winning those victories. That was very nice. And the only reason why it might have looked easy was because we happened to be able to um, we ha we happened to prepare very well, and we were able to take out take the win. And then this lady's telling me that we've discovered the arena, which is cool because then we can battle people in multiplayer live in game which is really really cool so if i wanted to i can actually select this and actually the tutorial is forcing me to do it which is kind of funny <laughs> anyway guys so that's um oh oh now i finally get to choose my hero yeah we're definitely going to use carl we set him up he is prepared and he is ready to go and we're going to keep a very balanced uh defensive position defense march has been positioned very nice all right and we're going to do a duel apparently right here and now all right Let's go. I'm just going to select whoever and we're going to see. So he's got... Okay, so Douglas has five infantry troops and infantry is weak to archers. So we should probably have more archers. So I'm going to actually take away one uh, one uh, siege equipment. I'm going to bring in more archers and we're going to start this battle. Let's see how Douglas does against us here. Not very fair. He had a much lower level. Uh, but let's see how he sets himself up. He's basically just got a line of infantry. So let's do it like... You know what, actually, I like the way this is set up because you do technically, usually you want to keep your heavy troops in the middle and your support troops on the outside or behind. So let's go ahead and start this battle and see what happens. I will defeat the darkness with my morning star. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. So the, wow, that's a lot of arrows and mostly probably coming from my side because he has mostly infantry. All right. So do I have my lovely ogre? I'm going to throw down my lovely ogre. I love my lovely ogre. Nice. All right, lovely ogre. Let's uh, let's throw down the lovely ogre in the middle. Very nice. Okay, and then let's throw in the fireball on their siege equipment. That should do plenty of damage. And I don't think Douglas has much of a chance. We we just very much just outclass this poor guy. Unfortunate for him. And as you can see at the top, there's a countdown. So there is actually a limit to the amount of time these things can happen. But there we go. There's the win in the arena. My first arena battle ever. Very very nice. All right, guys. Well, that was the very basic battle hero tutorial. Um, there, uh, there's a lot more that could go into it. Obviously, we can get into the details of the tiers of the troops, which ones you should use and everything. But we're already approaching nearly 20 minutes for part two of this beginner's guide. So, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it and be looking forward to part three, where we'll be discussing the town, which if you scroll down to the gate... Yes, you can actually go to a legit RPG gameplay, and um, that that's cool. That's fun. Role-playing game inside of one of these dungeon build-up and big-scale stuff. It's nice to go down to a single individual. And if you have not seen part one, be sure and check that out. That's the beginner's guide that explains basically everything that you're seeing here as it can look quite overwhelming. But again, for now, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure and download Iron Throne. The link is in the video description. If you are interested, um, give it a try. It is actually quite a bit of fun. And, ooh, Silverfish. Silverfish. So, silverfish. Hey. Yes. Okay. We got the silver. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you're seeing those fish, man, you need to, you need to smack them because they give you silver. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it, hit the subscribe button, join the class family if you haven't done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I will see you all again next time.